Hello everyone, this is Midas Touch and today I'll be doing a weekly reading for all Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much. I would really appreciate it. So we will be tapping into the energy of what's coming towards you for the week of April 15. Keep in mind that these are general readings that they may not resonate with everyone. And keep in mind that some of these energies may not resonate until a week or even three weeks from now. Okay, now let us begin. Spirit of Divine Light and Guardian Angels, What's coming towards Leo, sun, moon, rising for the week of April 15 of 2024? Please give me the general messages for Leo, sun, moon, rising of what's coming towards them for the week of April 15 of 2024. So these cards are sticking out. Got the seven of swords card. The page of wands card. The Four of Wands card. The Two of Cups card. Hmm. You guys are getting the similar messages from, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was the Taurus or even the Gemini reading. I could be wrong. But you guys are getting a similar message. So some of you guys may be dealing with a Gemini or you may have... Gemini, Libra, or even Aquarius in your chart. So you have the Seven of Swords card. So I'm getting that some of you are very much had it or done with someone and they want to come back to start some mess with you with this Seven of Wands card. I also feel that this is an energy of someone in the past that's still not over how you did them. And they still have their swords up, like they ready to start some mess with you. They still haven't really gotten over the betrayal. This may also be your energy. Now with the Page of Wands card, some of you Leos are a younger person or have a younger energy about you. I do see that you guys are planning to travel. This could be you traveling to see someone who stays at a distance from you with the Four of Wands card. Oftentimes this card talks about marriage, engagements. I say engagements. Engagements or celebrations. So some of you could be traveling with someone who's younger than you or someone younger than you could be traveling towards you. Take what resonates. And I do see you guys having a good time. Now the two of cups card. There is someone who's very passionate about you. And mind you, there is a lion on this card. So this could be you being passionate about someone or this could be someone being passionate about you. I mean, I am getting a platonic energy. This could be a friend that loves you a lot. And they plan to um, pick back up with you or hang out with you more often. Or they may want you to hang out with them. Now, with the death card, you guys are getting over the past. I do see new beginnings for you. Now, keep in mind... If you're someone who um, lost a job, I know that oftentimes losing a job for certain people, it does cause a bit of a burden because you can get overwhelmed. However, when one door closes, another one opens. So going back to what I was saying about someone losing a job with the Ten of Wands card being overburdened. So if this job did not appreciate you, look at this as a blessing in disguise because your next job, they're going to appreciate you. If this is a relationship as well, look at it as a blessing in disguise because the next person that you encounter, which I see it's someone who has water in their chart, they may be a Pisces, Scorpio, or even a Cancer. 
And I did say someone who has water in their chart. Now the Page of Cups card came out. So this new person, even though it's a woman on this photo, it may also be a man who um, who is tapped in with his feminine energy. It doesn't necessarily mean that the man is gay. He's just a person who is um, loving, caring, a genuine person. So this person is coming towards you. Now the Nine of Pentacles card, the energy for this week, a lot of you guys are going to be reaping harvest. You guys are working hard, building something. And if you remain steadfast and hopeful and not allow doubt to creep in, you will reap the harvest. There is wealth for you guys. Look at your energy. This is your energy, Leo. You're the king of wands. You're the queen of wands. You are coming out as a strong, stable person who is headstrong. This is the energy for you guys. And there's someone from the past that does want to come towards you with the chariot card. So this is a water sign person that's coming towards you. However, this new person, they also have water in their chart. Hmm. That is interesting to me. And then you got the queen of wands. Well... No, that's the Queen of Swords card. So this would be a earth sign woman that um, who turned their back on you. They're no longer speaking with you. Yeah. But they may reach out to you this week. Keep in mind that these are general messages. They will not resonate with everyone. Now, I do want to get another deck out for you guys. Let's see. This deck, Spirit of Divine Light and Guardian Angels, please give me general messages of what's coming towards Leo Sun Moon Rising for the week of April 15 of 2024. Please also protect me and the viewers from all harm. Thank you. Cut my cards. I feel like this deck is super, <laughs> it's super dick. Oh, and then, mind you, I'm trying to gather the deck up, and it just, yeah, it's a very big deck. Hmm. Someone will be doing a lot of making up to you with the kissing ass card. This is someone that knows that they did you wrong. They were in their pride and their ego. It's maybe the person of the past that I picked on earlier who has water in their chart. This is an obsessive person. They are toxic, they're possessive, and they are a karmic energy. So there's a reason why they're your ex for a reason. There's a reason why, there's a reason why you cut them off. Keep in mind, we are in Metro Retrograde, so they'll be trying to reach out, and when they do not have their way with you, this is what's going to happen. They're going to start drama with you. And this person likes to abuse divination. They may be a person that watched tarot. They may practice witchcraft as well. And they abuse that. Here you go. <laughs> this is someone that has a fake smile. They don't give me a genuine vibe. And you, you know this about them. So if you've been longing for this person, remember what they put you through. And I understand forgiveness is um, for everyone but you can forgive but don't forget like is it really worth it to even entertain this person yeah it's not worth it this could be a friend a relative an ex yeah if this was a friend of yours they wanted to be like you with the impersonator card Mm -hmm. They want it to be like you. So that's the general messages for the week of April 15. The more you guys engage with my videos, the more I'll make an effort to make the videos long. But thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you. Bye-bye.